What did you expect from our trailer crispy fried white cousins? Child, Gypsy Daddy is missing all of his teeth, every last one. And her mama really from somewhere down in Louisiana, Texas, Bama, out in the Craw Daddy Shack with Mama Udy them. <laughs> and don't get me started, they named their baby Gypsy. Anyways, just kidding. Gypsy Rose is a cancer. On a real note, the truth lies somewhere in between the lies. We gonna break it down for some of you that may be unsouthern, not me cousin. Here's a quick rundown on the topic before we go in for the kill. She's not pregnant for everybody who keeps asking. We're just hanging out as friends, that's all it is. Gypsy Rose Blanchard and ex Kent Urker shutting down romance and pregnancy rumors amid her separation from Ryan Anderson. The former couple, who's recently been spotted hanging out, clarifying their current relationship status during a TikTok Live on Wednesday. We're just hanging out as friends, that's all it is. I wanna come out and just tell people that it's important to me. Despite Photox capturing the pair holding hands as they rekindle their friendship, Gypsy and Ken are squashing all speculation there's anything intimate going on between the two. She's not pregnant for everybody who keeps asking. No, I'm, I'm on She's birth not control. pregnant. Like, what the hell? <laughs> and we have not had any intimacy. We're okay, just hanging out. When I came out of prison, I didn't expect this giant wave of social media you know i'm posting selfies just like the next person would or the next yeah. person not thinking anything of it and before i know it it has two million views i'm just like okay yeah you've got it's, six million it's, it's, followers it's an adjustment and, and of those six million followers plenty are showing concern for the 32 year old who was released from prison on parole back in december apparently someone had reported to my po that ken is a felon and everybody knows oh that God. parole you can't hang out with other convicted felons a lot of people got misinformation and thought that y'all met and he was in prison not that y'all met while you were in prison and i was like no you know it's an eight and a half year time gap from when i got arrested to now and i've grown up i'm matured i'm a woman Gypsy and Ken were engaged back in 2018 after he wrote her in prison, but they ultimately called things off in 2020. Fast forward to their 2024 reunion, they're showing off some fresh matching ink. Got that picture of your tattoos. Oh yes, let's see them in person. Saying they don't look new. They're brand new, they're fresh, they're still red. Yeah, they're still, they're still healing. <laughs> Check out the new body art in a photo obtained by TMZ. Fans pointing out it resembles a heart when put together. But Gypsy and Ken are saying there's actually no symbolism behind it, spilling deets on those twinning husky designs. It's just a husky, that's all that it is. It's an outline, so like, we didn't want to get like the full detail because that's actually really painful. Yeah. So we just kind of wanted the outline of a husky and I was like scrolling for something that like, <laughs> I thought would be pretty. As for those questioning Ken's motives with Gypsy, He's making it clear there's no clout chasing going on. I don't post any content. I'm not a content creator. All my socials are private. I don't accept anybody who I don't know or don't have mutuals with. So there's absolutely no part of me that is chasing any kind of clout. Like I'm not looking for any kind of attention or clout or fame or I, again, if you, you can choose to believe me or not, it's up to you. So here's the thing with Ryan, Gypsy's first husband. So it's not the first one that she met. She actually met the guy that she's talking to now with her ex-fiance. She met him I first. Am. However, they called things off. Then she ended up meeting Ryan while she was in jail via a letter. We kind of know the story by now. One thing that always turned me off about the story that I always found weird is like the, his reasoning for reaching out to her, for writing her a letter was because him and his friend um, made a joke that he, his friend is gonna write a letter to Joe Exotic and he's gonna write a letter to the Gypsy Rose girl. So basically, she's just been a dare. She's been a joke since the beginning. So that would always be something that, as a woman, I would feel uncomfortable with or always have some questions in the back of my mind, like, like this is really like a stage, like I'm a stage puppet for you. Her dad has even bought that up and said that he felt like, you know, this may be short lived and that Gypsy was probably rushing into things. His daughter can be spontaneous in his nicest dad way. You know, Gypsy loves the boys. We saw that when we watched her movie and it's not like something or, or a bad thing. Like she has been deprived of a natural feeling of just wanting to be around men or liking men, wanting to communicate, wanting to grow up in that way, not even just with her mom, but while she was in jail, of course, as well. Music so she's a, just fools rushing. We've seen it before. 
um, she probably really believed it. But definitely anytime you are in like a two year relationship, which she was in with her uh, ex fiance, Ken, prior to meeting Ryan, those feelings are going to still be there. You, you don't just jump right into something. It's just like, oh, forget about that guy. I'm in love with it. It was definitely a rebound. Everybody said it. Everybody called it. But maybe we all hoped for the best. So there's this interview where Gypsy Rose and Ryan are sitting down. I mean, she's literally five days fresh out of prison. This is lifetime. They definitely um, exploited, I think, this young lady way too early, like tracking her every single move, cameras in their face. These are not celebrities. These are regular people next door, your neighbors. Like, this was this is intentional. They know that these people are not prepared for this type of press. They, they know that they're going to catch these vulnerable moments and that's what they're looking for. So that's why I think it's exploitation. So they basically are just kind of like asking, oh, how's the relationship? What do you guys learned about each other? And Ryan's like, well, it's still fresh. We're still getting to know each other. It's just been a few days. Gypsy, probably out of nervous talking is like, oh, well, I've learned that you know, when we fight or when we argue, I'm the type of person who wants to deal with it right away. He wants to get it fixed and talk about the issue. And Ryan is more of the type to like go away, take some time for a day, think it out and then come back. And, you know, that already tells me, listen, you guys have been together for five days. You shouldn't be that shouldn't be a focus or a highlight of the first thing that came to mind. Even if they were arguing a bit while she was like in prison, that's already an issue. You guys are not together. This is your first time. Like, that's already showing some major, major red, red flags and issues, first of all, that y'all over arguing. So now apparently they are divorced or they're getting divorced because um, she said it was he was overly arguing and intimidating her. It's damn near turning into like he was abusive. And I, I, I'm going to say I don't know and you never do know. It feels like he maybe was wounded. His masculinity was wounded by realizing like, okay, look at all this attention. You know that you have all these, uh, this attention going on you. We saw that she likes to make him jealous and bring up little things and how many guys uh, are in her DMs and wrote her and you know, things like that. And um, he knows that her ex lives not too far away and that there's some feelings there. She probably started to act a little different and wanting like when she brings up comments like, oh, I felt trapped. I feel like he wanted to keep me. He's your husband. He wants to be close to you. And if he notices that something's off or that you're like, everybody has that intuition. And you know his was up because like, let's be honest, like this guy probably like men have a different type of... Um, options when it comes to women and his probably weren't many and it probably wasn't a lot so he's probably on high suspicion now that he's finally got this woman she has all this attention i just really think his ego was wounded so he turned up the testosterone and well, where are you going what you doing you know that type of aggressive that type of like on top of her and that's not what she wants however we know that she probably should not have gotten married he probably should not have married her knowing that she has not had a real relationship or an opportunity to get out here and learn the world and meet other men, especially the way she loved boys. Like, so uh, dad saw it come in, Ryan should have saw it come in. And I believe the whole time Gypsy felt it come in and hoped that she would rekindle things with her ex Ken. I'm not mad at her. We're just watching once again, like I said, we're just watching somebody's business. We've all had moments where maybe we rebound it with someone or where you still have feelings for somebody, but you just know that you have to move on. So you do whatever you have to. And, you know, and I really think that that's what's going on with Gypsy Rose. Uh, one thing that I will say about Ken is it's a di big difference in how he talks about how they met. He wrote her a letter when he saw um, the documentary. What was it? Mommy Dead and Dearest. So basically he more so felt for this person and was like, okay, I want to, I want to communicate with you. Like, I understand. Like, it was on some, I want to get to know you type of stuff. And, and Ryan was on a dare. So there's already a really big difference there. I also think um, he, with him walking around and he's talking about it now after seeing them get their matching tattoos and what's going on, they're definitely not just friends. They're definitely dating. She did. She dyed her hair blonde after he stated that he loves blondes. Like she's very obvious with these things. She's a ho hopeless romantic. Um, I do think that Ryan walking around with the little dog and shit and answering questions is staged. I think it's absolutely staged. You'd be surprised how many of these people, these little people got little agents or a little team or little people giving them advice to stay on for as long as you can so they can keep getting money. But um, 
yeah so there's really not much to say there we i think we saw a comment i don't think we knew how exactly it was going to play out i wish them the best you know what i mean now ryan life goes back to normal except you got it you might have a little bit more of an instagram following you might really be able to to find find your real you know a girl for real one that's you don't have to find on a dare gypsy rose beefing with natalie nunn and scotty from <laughs> from baddies was not on my bingo card a few hours ago gypsy revealed that zeus network invited her to come and host the baddies reunion she also let us know that she kindly declined as she should because i don't think that their interests align at all she also let us know that she's not hating it's just not something she wanted to do period but then she also threw a little bit of shade because she said she's seen plenty of that type of behavior in jail she doesn't want to see it again. I feel like they asked her as a joke, but to even ask in the first place is so weird to me. What's even weirder is the way <laughs> that Natalie came into her DMs. Hey girl, I'm not gonna lie, you don't know this woman from a hole in the wall. I just feel like when you're speaking to someone that you don't know, you have to use like email etiquette. You know what I mean? Like, hello, how was your day? Hey girl, it's just not... And after Natalie asked Gypsy to take the screenshots down, Gypsy replied by saying, thanks, but no thanks. I know that's right, Gypsy. <laughs> but then here comes Scotty too. Go ahead, do what Natalie said, babe. You know what you did, delete those screenshots. Gypsy said, I already told you guys to leave me alone. And I literally, as this is happening, I'm like, you guys, please leave this woman woman alone okay please but gypsy said that she's not gonna sue anybody and she doesn't allow anyone to bully her so period okay this entire thing just can't be real and 2024 is starting off with a bang this is too much i gotta go because y'all keep mixing shit up on the internet i don't want to do that what i want to do is this i want to clear shit up i want to clear it up I have never in the day of my life messaged um what's her name? Gypsy Rose. Gypsy Rose. I have never messaged Gypsy Rose a day in my life. Until this morning. And I said, you killed your mama out? Oh. That's crazy. Now you might need to be on the next season of Baddies and I ain't gonna hold you, but bitch. We gotta get the lawyers together for that. Cause bitch, you was crazy. Like, what the F, Natalie? Natalie is a complete idiot. Like, you really just said, you really killed your mama. Like, that's some baddie shit. Like, oh my gosh, Natalie. At least we can all sleep comfortably knowing that Gypsy Rose mama is somewhere in hell swinging at the hot air right now. So yeah, thank you so much for listening. We'll continue to follow the story. Tune in next time. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Once we get to 1,000 subscribers, we are doing a cash giveaway and then some. Stay tuned for more entertainment and content.